I got into jewellery making completely by accident really. My sister-in-law was going to a day workshop introduction to jewellery making um, and asked me to go along. I thought, great, I'll escape from the kids for, <laughs> for a day. Um, came home with various bits of jewellery, bracelets, earrings, um, necklaces and was completely hooked really. I didn't carry on with it for quite a while. I took a bit of a break. I had another child and then when she was of an age where I could leave her, I decided I needed a bit of me time. So I uh, joined a local bead group run by a bead shop um, and picked it up again and I never looked back. I don't really have a favourite medium. I'm a bit of a stringing and linking fiend, so um, anything goes with that really. So I love to learn new skills that I can incorporate into anything that's that's linked. So a bit of wire work, a bit of bead stitching. Um, I even started uh, doing a bit of kumahimo recently, a bit of chain mail. So anything that I can incorporate and make my pieces of jewelry a little bit different, really. That's a really hard question. Um, I'm drawn to, towards anything that's blue, green, turquoise, aqua colour. So I love my um, Amazonites, uh, Venturine um, and good old turquoise. I think turquoise, it comes in such a range of colours from your sort of greeny colours right through to the quite deep turquoise. And so they get used a lot, particularly in my sort of seasidey themed jewellery. Um, but all the gemstones, I love them. I love the, the variance of colour, the patterns on them. So it's really hard to choose a favourite. I'm going to be boring, I'm afraid, and say round ones because they're just the most versatile. But I, I was using some top drilled ones earlier today and they're, they're really great because they give a completely different look just by the fact that they've got that offset hole. So it gives a whole sort of natural quirkiness to, to any stringing that you do with them. But I think the rounds, you know, you can get them in so many different sizes. You've always got a choice of sizes in the rounds for your gemstones. So they're the most versatile, I think. Lots of things. Uh, nature mostly. Um, I'm an absolute sucker for anything natural in the natural world. I love to make, um, try and make things out of wire and beads that depict things from nature. Um, beach jewellery I love, probably because of those colours. Um, but I also get inspired by beads. Just, you know, I might pick a single bead, perhaps a snakeskin agate or impression jasper or something, and they've got colours and patterns in them that just inspire a whole piece of jewellery. So it can come, designs can come from all sorts of places. That's an easy one. It's got to be Rachel Norris. I'm just in awe of Rachel Norris, how she just manages to visualise things in wire um, and come up with something that you just wouldn't expect from wiring lots of little pieces and then putting them all together to make you know, something like a dolphin or an elephant, or it's just amazing, totally in awe of her. Normal day. Well, bear in mind I'm working on at least three issues at once. So probably my day would involve uh, a bit of photography. So that involves styling the jewellery, um, directing the photographer as to which close-ups we need, um, working out how to take the right angles of the piece so that it makes sense with the project instructions. Um, and then at the same time, I might be editing uh, some projects for another issue, um, making sure that all the step photos are in line with the, the text and there's consistency in the supplies list and all that kinds of thing. Um, and looking ahead to another issue where I'll be commissioning, so perhaps there might be a theme for a particular issue and I'm trying to get a good spread of uh, techniques from your wire work, bead stitching, through to stringing and linking. So there's at least three issues on the go and I'm probably thinking ahead another three issues as well in terms of themes and what, what techniques I want to include. So um, a very mixed day of lots of different tasks.